Hi, this is Dr. David Cruz once again with White Coat Medicine Talks. And today we're going to continue with our discussions on diabetic medications. As you know, there are many ways that your doctor is trying to decrease your sugar to get it back to its normal level. And this is just one of the medications that will help us to get there. This is one of the newer classes of medications. They're called SGLT2 inhibitors. Now, these medications work on your kidney. In your kidney, you do have a protein that's called sodium glucose co-transporter 2. This protein, what it does, it helps you reabsorb a lot of the sugar that goes through your kidney, maybe up to about 90% of the sugar. So that way you don't lose the sugar. Well, this medication is an inhibitor of that protein. So when you stop that protein from working, now you're going to be urinating out a lot of that sugar. So there's going to be some advantages to that. One is your hemoglobin A1C is going to come down. We're gonna control your sugar much better. Secondary, you're gonna have a decrease in your weight. You're gonna be losing a lot of fluid, you're going to be losing a lot of sugar, and when you get rid of sugar, you get rid of calories, and so therefore your weight is going to decrease. And lastly, there is also a chance that your blood pressure is gonna decrease somewhat. Now, there's very little chance, if you're taking this medication alone, that you will get hypoglycemic or low blood sugar. So those are some of the advantages to this medication. Some of the disadvantages to this are fungal infections, also dehydration, and sometimes decreased blood pressure or hypotension, which can lead to dizziness or fainting. Now the solutions to these problems would be make sure that when you go to the restroom, you wipe well, maybe even with a wipey or something like that so that you don't leave any sugar behind. Anytime that you need to urinate, go urinate. Do not hold it because the longer you hold that sugar in, the more likely you're able to get an infection. And also make sure you're hydrating yourself. Hydration is a priority with this medicine. These medicines are usually given in the morning and you hydrate throughout the whole day. Uh, you're gonna be urinating a lot more, you lose a lot of fluid. So make sure that you stay hydrated. Now, there is a couple of instances where we're not gonna give this medication to patients. If you're a type one diabetic, we're not gonna give you this medicine. Nextly, if you have bad circulation, we will not give you this medication. And because you lose so much fluid, you want to have good circulation. So hydration is very important with this as well. Talk to your doctor about these uh, side effects and reasons why you should not take this medication before starting this medication. Now, because you're losing so much sugar, there is a chance that these medications might increase your glucagon production. Now, if you remember from the DPP-4 video that we did, glucagon is made in the pancreas and it helps your liver make more sugar. So, because that's the case, these medications might be a great combination with another class of medication. So don't be surprised if your doctor gives you a class of medication called the GLP-1 receptor agonist. These medications work great. We're gonna do a video on these medications as well because in combination, now you're really decreasing your sugar back to the normal levels, decreasing your weight, and doing fantastic. Make sure you ask your doctor about other problems with these medications that you can encounter and continue to watch these videos for more information. Thank you so much for watching White Coat Medicine Talks. We'll see you next time.